provide service to patients that is not otherwise available. People are here, sometimes they're alone and they don't have a support system around them. Most people in this community at one time or another are going to need us. Every day, I'm inspired. A vow, a promise, an assurance to fulfill a commitment. That's the mission behind a vow hospice of Collier County, giving focused attention and special care to the terminally ill and their families since 1983. But what makes a vow so special isn't just the quality of service they provide to those at the end of life, it's also the people behind the scenes, the ones who truly believe in the sanctity of their work. One of the things that I feel blessed to be here uh, on a personal level is, is that I get to show up to work and be with people without any agenda. Um, I, my role really with people is to be with them. We will always be there for them um, in their time of need, in their family's time of need. If someone can reach out and just provide a hand and support someone through that journey, um, through grief, it can help them um, normalize their experience. The care and attention that my wife had received was absolutely first class. Uh, there was no way that uh, I could have possibly uh, done all that myself. We care about the whole person, not just the physical piece, not just the disease, because so many times a patient becomes the sum of his, his or her physical ailments. A lot of what we do is just help validate and support people through this passageway in their lives. It was really a first-class experience and took away a lot of the fear I had at the, the fact that I was suddenly looking after my wife. This is never an easy place to work but it is probably the most meaningful job any of us will ever have. You're listening to people whose lives have been affected by a vow hospice. Whether family, staff, physicians, or patients, a vow hospice's influence in the community goes far beyond meeting the physical needs of patients. When we came home from the hospital, a vow hospice had everything in place, everything ready, uh, ready to go. My wife was lifted straight off the stretcher into the bed. The comprehensiveness of the care that we have to offer people is not found at every hospice. We have a full-scale complementary therapy program that includes massage therapy, Reiki, music therapy. We have a hospice house, a 16-bed um, unit that's um, on our campus, our main campus, and that um, in and of itself is really a gem here in Collier County that a lot of people don't know about. One of the great things that hospice did was offered me respite. Uh, respite involved taking my wife to the uh, uh, Georgeson House facility of a vow hospice and uh, there she was able to be looked after by the nursing staff there and it gave me the opportunity to take a couple of weeks off and, uh, and go and see my family and things of that nature. The patients feel safe and they feel relief uh, on many different levels, physically, emotionally. They feel like their families are gonna be helped to take care of them, which is something that's really important to them. I mean, a lot of people understand hospice. A lot of people, well, oh yes, those are the people that take care of you when you need them at the end, but they really don't know. They really don't understand the depth and the reach of all of what we can do. If you spend one day watching someone uh, give the care that they give at a vow hospice, you get hooked. We do follow our families for 13 months. We call them on a scheduled basis um, and then invite them to call us. Even the process uh, that they went through with the, with the death of my wife, uh, the, uh, memorial service we had was attended by all the nurses that uh, had attended her. I run a group, for example, on Tuesday evenings. And what happens a lot of times for people there is they'll come to this group, they're probably isolated and feeling acute amount of pain by themselves. It's such a deeply personal, private experience. Can often feel like there's no one else out there in the world that feels this badly. 
So to come into a group and sit down and look out and see other people that are on this journey with you and be able to share and exchange your experiences um, through this process in itself is helpful. I just felt like this became my family. I was so very impressed with it. I would highly recommend Aval Hospice. People are not prepared for what happens uh, when they face a, a loss of a loved one. And we're able to be here to just, again, extend our hand and to just kind of be there for them as they traverse this space that they're in now. The people that do that work, in my opinion, they do God's work. And I think, I think my mission and the mission of those that have been working with me is to support that effort. Aval Hospice is the expert in comfort care, providing a host of programs for physical, emotional, and spiritual support, giving personal attention to both patients and their families. Often patients find special comfort in the company of pets. That's where the PAUSE program comes in. They bring a sense of normalcy into a room where sadness prevails, maybe fear, all of the things that go along with the end of our lives. PAUSE also helps bring comfort to those who have lost a pet. Many times, a pet can be as close as a family member, and the loss of that companionship can be devastating. It is very important for people to have those um, outlets in order to talk to someone, talk to someone in person, to attend groups, to be able to realize other people feel the same and not be embarrassed by the depth of their sorrow. The broad scope of Avow Hospice's programs and strong position in Collier County has also earned them great respect among healthcare professionals. Avow's ongoing efforts to excel and grow set it apart from the rest. And with that passion comes great responsibility and a faithful commitment of financial support. We are embarking on a, a new campaign for Avow Hospice, and we call it the Promise Campaign. Uh, the name Avow uh, means to promise. I'm deeply committed to doing what I can do as a board member and doing what I can do to help uh, raise funds for maintaining the hospice we have here at Avow. Complementary therapy services are not reimbursable through Medicare. So each individual hospice, uh, such as Avow, has to choose whether or not to provide these services to their patients. We're able to provide additional services that are not reimbursed by Medicare or other insurance programs, mainly because of all the tremendous community support that uh, we receive. We're hoping to expand our services and any donations and any funding uh, helps us to do that. We also care for patients who have no insurance. So the hospice um, picks up the, the costs of the care for patients without resources. It is unique. But without people's generosity, without them coming forth and contributing to this, there will be no pause. And we don't get fully reimbursed for everything that we do. Um, and, and that's what makes the campaign and, and donations so vital. We need your help. We need your support. We need um, you to understand that a vow is important to Collier County. We are conducting this campaign really to try to strengthen um, the the organization's ability to serve the community. It's a ten million dollar promise campaign that's going to go on for a few more years. So we certainly welcome um, any support from the community that uh, that can be given to us. What other charity can take care of every single individual in the community? Whether or not it's a baby, uh, whether or not it's a teenager, or whether or not it's an elderly person ending their lives. We reach, we reach and touch everyone in the community. I would like to say thank you to, to everyone that's been involved, not only in, in the Promise Campaign, but involved with hospice in general. Um, and that includes the donors, as, as well as the volunteers and staff that, have, that make what happens at Aval Hospice possible. It's because of you and the contributions that you make that we're able to do the work that we do. Thank you for what you'll continue to do in future years. 
uh, it's so important to us and uh, our heartfelt thanks.